All right, from the air to the water, let's go back out to Eric, who's on the Mississippi River this morning with more as we look forward to National Maritime Day. That's on Saturday. That's right. He's been showing us the importance of the port to our daily lives. He has another special guest with him on the river. Eric, who are you with now? Well, this kind of surprised me because I thought I knew a lot about the port of New Orleans. This is a new one for me. Uh, it's been around for a while. Uh, this is uh, Reverend Philip Vandercook. He's with the Global Maritime Ministries. And uh, you're a nonprofit organization, really not to help so much the longshoremen or the people here at the, at the port, but the, the thousands of crew members who come in from other countries. Well, actually, we do work with everyone in the port. Like I said, you work with everybody. Predominantly <laughs> in the, uh, the seafarers that come in, the number of uh, crew members on each ship is about 20 or 25 crew members per ship from all and, over the world. That's the bulk of what you do, though, yes. isn't it? Yes, that's correct. They're living on the ship for about a year at a time away from their home and family. And so uh, that's that's where they are. And so we provide services for them to help them contact their family, send money back to their families, a place to come off of the ship for shore leave that's safe, uh, provide transportation to go to different places. And you're saying you've gotten even more uh, people coming through because a lot of these guys coming in, they, they have not had access to the vaccine and you guys try to provide that. Correct. We've uh, probably done about 75 vaccines in about the last week, week and a half because seafarers are anxious to get that and the countries they're from or they've been out at sea for many, many months uh, and they've had not no access to it. One ship we took had been eight months without stepping off the ship. And, and as we said, like how many people do you see in say a given month, or either like pre-COVID and during COVID? Right. Well, when the cruise ships were in, we worked with them as well. So we would see a couple of thousand seafarers a month uh, coming through our ministry center. Uh, right now, it's, of course, a little bit less uh, than that, probably about half of that uh, working with the cargo ships. And you're interdenominational. I mean, what, what, what services do you offer them aside from getting vaccines, things like All that? Right. Well, we have the obvious things of connecting with home and using our internet, those kinds of uh, physical needs. But we also try to provide for their spiritual and social needs, getting them off the ship to a safe place. We also can provide Bible studies. We have Bibles and scriptures in about 75 different languages, so we can give them something in their hard language that they can read uh, as well. Uh, we do a lot of counseling. We do a lot of help with uh, uh, just issues that they might have, as you can imagine, being away from your family yeah. for so long at a time. There's a lot of uh, a lot of family issues, a lot of uh, stress that goes on there. And how do you get the word out to these these folks coming in? How do they know about what you do? Well, we're beginning to have a reputation. We've been around a while, but also uh, we just go to the ship. We go aboard the ship and visit with them and. Uh, go from ship to ship and tell them about the things that we can provide for them, find out what the needs are on that particular vessel that day and try to meet them the best we can. Well, since we're on a ship, I mean, our crew probably could use a little ministering today because they're kind of heathen. So if you can help them out, we'd be glad to help them out. That, that'd be good. That'd be good. I may be the biggest heathen of them all <laughs> anyway, but uh, congratulations on what you guys do. It's, it is a big job. Well, we appreciate that. We enjoy doing it. We've been here. Uh, about 60 years now, and so it's been a long, a long term. We get to work with the port, and they're a wonderful partner to work with. So it's it's a lot of fun for us getting to meet folks from literally all around the world. All right, Reverend, thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate that. So now you learned something new. We learned something new. I did not know that there was a ministry service here at the Port of New Orleans, but it's been here for how many years? Uh, almost 60 years. Almost 60 years. All right, back to you guys. I did not know that either. No, that is really cool. Thank you, Eric.